G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Flashlight Crazy. Today I've got two ray lights here. They're both Lan Apple. One of them's in the raw titanium, the other one's in the black oil anodized titanium. Holy moly, this is a beauty. Let's check them out. Alrighty, so this is how they'll come. You'll get a box and it'll tell you ray light Lan Apple. This is the box for the black oil, as you can see. Uh, so it's TI anodized with black oil, XPL high, 6,000K. Now, inside the box, whoa, you will get a sticker and two spare O-rings. Now, I just wanted to show you, because I got one of each. I got the, uh, the black oil, which is just superb, but I also got the raw uh, titanium. So... Just wanted to show you two of the possible options you can get in these styles of ray light. Now, I'm just, before I actually uh, put the batteries in, because these are the XPL High 6000K emitters, Ray gives you a uh, 3.7 volt 1000 milliamp hour lithium ion 14500. So they are unprotected cells. However, ray light has low voltage protection and reverse polarity protection. So don't stress about running the battery down because ray light will cut off. Ray lights will cut off, I think, when it gets down to, I want to say 3.2 volts or under 3.2 volts, it'll, it'll shut off. Uh, so now that we've got the batteries in, we'll take a closer look at them. I mean, the, the black oil is to die for, man. It is just sensational. I absolutely love the black oil. And I actually didn't think I was going to like the, uh, the 6000K. It's actually awesome. I'll just zoom out. Um, there we go. So that's on, on low, not moonlight, because I removed moonlight, and that's on high. So as you can see, I have these lights set up differently. And let's, I'll, I'll tell you why. So I like to take this one out because I don't mind if I drop this, uh, whereas I do mind if I drop this on the concrete because I love the black oil. So I don't want to ruin that just yet. I'm not ready to ruin it. So I keep this one indoors. Now, that's why I have it starting on low because I only need low normally. And then I can obviously half press to cycle up. But I've removed memory as well. So when I turn it off on medium, turn it back on, always comes in on low. I didn't want moonlight mode, so I got rid of that as well. Uh, now, if I'm going too fast for anyone and you don't know what I'm talking about and how I got rid of all those things and changed memory and started it from low instead of high and whatever, I will link in the bottom of the description right now uh, my Raylight programming video. So click on that link and it'll explain everything that I'm talking about. But this one I take outdoors and for that reason I want it to start on high because I want this to come on in the highest output and then I can cycle down if I don't need that. Because you know you've got ambient light from the daytime and things like that. So that's why I like to start this on in high, whereas I start this on in low, because who needs that much uh brightness in the in the nighttime inside your house. Now, zooming back in to take a look. So Orange peel reflectors, XPL high 6,000K emitters, gorgeous constructions. Land apples are absolutely beautiful. Pocket clip is phenomenal. Slides in and out of the pocket with ease. The feel would be that I would say the raw titanium is a bit rougher, whereas the uh, anodized black oil is smoother and just beautiful. Now, I actually am very curious to see the weight difference. Uh, so both of these batteries are fully charged, by the way. So we have raw titanium at 81.27 grams, and we have black oil at 81.335 grams. Okay, so they're basically weigh the same. So the black oil makes no difference. Uh, now, I will just do some measurements. So head to tail, we have 96.9 millimeters. Face width 21.62 millimeters, body width 16.53 millimeters, tail width 19.2 millimeters. So they're a great size. They are just a great size. Look at them in the hand. Very easy to uh, operate the tail switch as well. And I believe that's because you have this little 
this little area here that the tail switch sits in and it's kind of like a dish that falls down, makes it very easy to half press once the light's on, which is what, exactly what you want. Now, I don't believe these lights get too hot, but they are pumping out a fair bit of uh, output. So I'm gonna leave them like this and see which of these lights gets hotter out of the raw titanium or the black oil. And while I'm doing that, I'll just let you know that uh, in the night shots, what you will notice is the orange peel reflectors in these lights uh, make for a brilliant mixed beam. And I'm actually really impressed with the XPL High 6000K uh, emitter. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's a gorgeous emitter. Okay, now they're both heating up at the same rate. So again, black oil or raw doesn't make a difference they're both heating up at the same rate they're not getting too hot that i can't touch them yet but they are heating up i dare say they might get to a point where i can't touch them uh, but for now they are not so that's awesome neither of them got too hot and i believe they are starting to step down uh, which means that they won't get too hot so they're not going to burn you phenomenal that's amazing i love that so the beauty of Raylight is not only how they look, not only how pocketable they are, not only how diverse they are with their outputs going from moonlight mode all the way up to 100%, but the fact that you can customize them to make your Raylight exactly how you want. So as you can see here, I've removed moonlight mode in both of these lights. And what I've done is started one of them on high and started one of them on low. You can do this with your ray lights. This is where ray lights come in so handy and are just, in my opinion, absolutely brilliant because you can customize them the way you want them until you get your perfect light. And I just think that ray lights are phenomenal in that way. Now, I don't have a drop rating or water rating, but I wouldn't have a problem dropping them. In fact, I did drop my pineapple from about a meter once and it didn't do anything bad to it. So I got no dramas dropping them uh, from about a meter. Submerging them, I'd maybe be careful, maybe a meter, maybe half a meter, but I'd probably just try and keep them away from water regardless. They're just too, too beautiful of a light to destroy. Now let's go outside and see what they do at nighttime and we'll come back for some final thoughts, prices and where to buy the old Raylight Land Apples. Oh yeah, and they can tail stand. See you in a sec. All right, so there's low on the Raylight Land Apple. Medium, oh, beautiful, beautiful. I actually really like the tint on this. It's, I don't know, I, don't, I can't put my finger on what I love about it so much, but it is nice, and look at that on high sensational i don't have this one programmed to moonlight mode but low medium and high is all i need in this back to low very useful at close distances and then a quick half press gets you to medium quick half press gets you to high sensational got a bit of throw on it too nice Medium is fantastic. Obviously extended runtime with medium and it's all you bloody need really. Wish you could make it start on medium. And then low, medium, high. All right, see ya. All right, so prices first. So the raw titanium, you've got 79 USD. The black oil, you've got 99 USD. Uh, but these are phenomenal lights. I don't have any cons about these lights. They didn't get too hot. They've got a fantastic 6000K emitter, which I really like. Uh, it's just, it's it's really nice, that emitter. I don't know why. It's not blinding like the rest of, you know, some cool white lights. It's it's a perfect emitter for, you know, for, for the jobs where you want a lot of light. Absolutely. And as you saw in the night shots, man, this thing goes. Um <clears throat> In terms of pocket clips, in terms of pocketability, in terms of just sticking in your pocket and forgetting about it, ray lights are phenomenal. They are what you want as a EDC companion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link them in the description now. I'll link both of them separately. I'll also link the uh, programming guide as well that I've done. 
go have a look at that. It's a short video and it'll teach you how to program your ray light to exactly the way you want it. Uh, but apart from that, the way they hold, the way they go, and their their strength because they're titanium, uh, you cannot go wrong with a ray light land apple. You just can't. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. And until next time, stay cool and stay safe. See ya.